got a special gift for you today. I've had a few people ask me about op amps and how op amps make a difference. So I breadboarded a small circuit for you, a little overdrive circuit. And I figured, you know what? We'll just swap some out and see what you guys think. So let's get to it. Okay, I have a JRC4580 in this circuit right now. And I have a gain control, which is dimed. I have a sim very simple uh, tone control, a volume control, obviously. Diodes are in the, uh, they're soft clipping, basically. They're in the loop, so a bunch of gain to it. And it's soft clipping like just a normal overdrive 4580 chip. Now, this is a breadboard. So with that in mind, when I turn everything on, it's going to be a little bit louder. You're going to hear some hum just because all the crap associated with breadboards like wires going everywhere that creates all these little antennas basically so it's gonna be a little bit loud that's just part of the breadboard hear that that's what i mean so 4580 chip Okay, let's try the TLC2262. Let's try that next. Let's go from that to the OP275. Let's go for TLO62. All right, that's the 062. Let's go for, um, you know what? Let's take a little venture somewhere else over in that one. This, that little, uh, Acha. Got some different chips in that. I think I'm gonna throw in an LM833. It's kind of a popular chip. I think it's in like the Shred Master. Not Shred Master. What was it? Uh, the MI Audio Distortion. Crutch Box. There you go. That's what it's called. And here we go with the 833. On to the next one. So this is the JRC4558. This is the chip that makes it sound like a tube screamer. You'll notice it doesn't, by the way. And that's the 4558. On to the next. So this is the LM358. Alright, how about, I think we should do, I got it. Yeah, I do. 4559. So it's you're going to notice this is uh, well you may notice you may not notice this is going to be a little bit higher gain compared to some of the other ones. All right, here we go. Not quite the drastic difference, is it? All right, and moving on. So let's get into some more of the uh, some more of the expensive chips. You know, the eight dollar ones, five to eight dollar ones. Those, those uh, elusive, you know, special sprinkled with fairy dust type of chips. Let's see. How about the how about the OPA 
That's an expensive one. And let's do another expensive one, the AD712. That's AD, not 80. The OPA2134, another fairly expensive. I see chip dual op amp. These are all dual op amps. In case you're wondering, I know you're sitting there asking yourself, are those dual op amps or single op amps? Yep, they're all duals. See, because if they weren't, I wouldn't be able to uh, just swap them out that quickly. All right, the 2134, the OPA. <laughs> That's the 2134. What else can we do? Let's see. Okay, one more. We have one more. And this actually is a pretty good sounding chip um, as far as, you know, op amps go and the differences between them. The JRC2043. Double D. <laughs> So there you have it. Uh, I mean, personally, I don't, I mean, there, there is a difference. I do hear a difference, but it's not a dramatic difference. So uh, hopefully this puts to, to rest the, if it's got a 4558 chip, that it's a tube screamer thought. So it's not the way it works. 4558 is a very, 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 very common op amp uh, IC chip. So yeah, I mean, it, you, you may notice like a little bit of differences. It is harder when it's on the breadboard just simply because uh, you do have other noise stuff going on. And it's not really a good way around that when it's on the breadboard, especially with big long wires and all that crap. So one more thing. Uh, right now, like I said, I have the diodes between the, between the uh, uh, inverting pins. So it's soft clipping. Uh, why don't we take those same diodes and run them to ground and so you can see what the difference is between soft clipping and hard clipping that'd be fun right everybody wants to know that and we'll probably hear an increase in volume the clipping structure is going to be totally different uh and keep in mind like i know this isn't the greatest circuit in the world it's a very simple circuit that i came up with um Pretty much just for this test. So, okay, here we go. Hard clipping to ground. And while we're here, I guess we could ask ourselves, how do different diodes sound like? I don't know. I do know. But let's see. Those were 4148s. Let's see here. Okay. What do I got? Oh, yeah. oh, I got some fancy pants ones. So these are 1N192s. Fancy schmancies. Oh, man. These are uh, a little expensive as well in the hard clipping position. I can't turn the volume up, it's loud as it goes.
Now, if you're wondering why it's not quite as loud, that's because, uh, let's see, the easiest way to put it is more signal is getting kind of compressed and clipped, and so therefore it's not as loud. Oh, here's some good ones. The Bat 46. Uh, if I recall, sometimes these were used in a very expensive overdrive. I think the Bat 41s or 46s. I forget off the top of my head. Bat 46s, hard clipping. <laughs> That's the Bat 46s. So, just for fun, let's see what the Bat 41s do. Dims the 41s. Let's see, uh, let's throw some LEDs in here. All right, uh, I'm going to have to compensate for the volume on this guy because the LEDs are going to clip uh, less, let more signal through, and as a result, the op amp is actually going to clip a little more. <laughs> Those are blue LEDs. I know what you're thinking, Brian. Why don't you try the yellow LEDs or the orange LEDs or the red LEDs? That's a good question. Let's see how much of a difference a different color makes. Oranges. <laughs> Those are the oranges. And let's see, let's throw pinks in there. All right, pink LEDs. All right, red ones. Here we go. We have some germanium, 1N34As. Dig them out of here real quick. Ooh, got an assembly already made. All right, here goes the germaniums, uh, 1N34As. Wow, okay. Dramatic difference, of course. It's clipping more signal, so that makes sense. All right, final thing, just for the fun of it, let's see what the op amp sounds like. Just clipping itself, no diodes at all. I have to turn the volume down.
I actually think in some applications, op amps can sound good clipping, you know, just hitting the rails and clipping themselves. Um, so yeah, I think that's a cool sound too. Now you get a whole different thing. Let me find my boost. You can get a whole different sound whenever you run, um, you know, another clean boost into that and get the op amp to break up even more. So let's try that just for fun while we're throwing caution to the wind here. Okay, so I just, I basically just have a decibel plus or dB plus and uh, it's just a straight up full frequency op amp uh, booster. So let's turn this mug up, turn it on, see what kind of clipping action we get. First off, now hitting that op amp with a boost pedal. it off again and on so I kind of dig it it's almost like a fuzzy sort of thing you know so uh, you know that's if you're like a tweaker like me and like to tweak stuff might be something to experiment with create a new type of fuzz run a couple op amps into each other and see what happens tweak the values in between Get what you want, put a cool tone control on it, and um, you know, might be something cool. So, anyways, I know this may be uh, fairly dull to some of my audience. I apologize. Uh, hopefully, at least got a little bit of knowledge of just how much op amps do or do not make a difference, how the diodes do or do not make a difference. I really think they do make a big difference. And um, yeah, so you know, hope hope it, hope you got something out of it. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you comment below. I love hearing from you guys. If you think this is of any value, if you, if you like this video, if you get anything out of it, make sure you share it with people. Uh, you know, I do this for you guys. I really, I like, I don't, I'm not selling any Wampler pedals here. I'm purely doing this to help you guys out and answer the questions that I get. So if you, if you like it, share it, and uh, we'll see you in a couple days. Life.